Hello everybody, I am Baljit Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 704 part 3, two part we have already covered in this presentation we will cover part 3. First question is question number 51, supposing that telegraph poles on a rail road are 50 meter apart, how many will be passed by train in 4 hours if the speed of the train is 45 km an hour? Now 45 km per hour is means in 4 hours the, speed, <coughs> the train will travel 180 km. 180 km that is equal to 180 into 1000 meter and divide by 50 because the distance between these two is 50 meter. So divide by 50 ultimately we will get 3600. So 3600 poles. 3600 poles answer should be B. How do you see that from this pole 1 is here, pole second is here, pole 3 is here, pole 4 is here like this there, there will be 3600. There can be confusion between 1 and 2. Now this is already crossed so it is the question of crossing. So this 1, 2, 3 and ultimately we will have 3600. Ultimately this is total length would be covered during this it will be 3600 poles will be covered. Question number 52. The cost of 25 pencils and 20 sharpeners is rupees 100. If the cost of the sharpener is more than the cost of the pencil by 50 paisa, what is the total cost of 3 pencil and 4 sharpener? So 25 pencil and 20 sharpener is equal to 100 rupees. In other words, you can divide by 5 both sides, then we will have to make this calculation more simple. We will have 4p plus 4s, 5p plus 4s is equal to 20. And 1p, 1p, p means pencil, is equal to, is equal to 50 paisa plus p. More than 50 paisa means difference between this is the value of a you will find sorry this is equal to s s is equal to p plus 50 paisa sharpener cost is p plus 50 paisa so here you can write 5 p plus 4 and 1 by 2 plus p you can write here 50 paisa means 50 by 100 1 by 2 that is equal to 20 5 p plus 2 and plus 4 p should be equal to 20 should be equal to 20. 9 p is equal to 18 and p is equal to 2. p is equal to 2. If 2 rupees the cost of pencil, then sharpener cost would be 2.5. In other words, 5 by 2 rupees. So 2 into 3 that is 6 rupees pencil total and 4 into 5 by 2 that is 10 rupees sharpener. So 6 rupees pencil. 10 rupees sharpener that is total cost is 16 rupees. Answer is D. Next question, question number 53. Find a point on the y axis which is equidistant from the point A and B. This is given. That is 6, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, this is x and this is y, x, y, 6, 5, 5 would be here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in other words you can say this is the point here, that would be 6, 5, x, 6, 5, y, now other point is, this is a, other point is b, that is minus 4, that x would be minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, and y is 3, y 1 2 3 this is 3 so minus 4 x and y 3 this is the point b now we have to tell find a point on the y axis y axis means this axis this axis we have to find the point for example this would be here for example this the distance between these two points this point and this these two points should be same equal distance so you can write here you can make it like this and
you can also this is 3 4 3 this is 3 and this is 5 and we have to find the value of this we have to find the value of this this is 4 so 4 and this is 3 this is 5 now there are two important concepts here two important tricks one is very very simple that it is given that it will be on y axis it will be on a y axis so what does it mean y axis means x should be zero because this would be on this so x is zero in only one a so a should be the answer a should be the answer otherwise you can also calculate also calculate what should be the distance of this this is six x is six you have taken this p then this should be equal to p by p plus two so p plus 2 and 4 square, 4 square plus p plus 2 square, it should be equal to 6 square plus p square, 6 square plus a p square, 4, 4 square and this is p plus 2 square is equal to 6 square, this is 6 square and this is p, this is p from the here to here. This should be equal because this side and this side we have to find equal we have to make it equal so 36 plus p square should be equal to 16 plus p square plus 4 plus 4 p 4 p it will cancel to this and then uh, 4 p is equal to 16 p is equal to 4 if this is 4 then this is 2 and this is 3 4 plus 2 6 plus 3 9 so this should be 9 9 it means x is 0 and y should be 9 0 9 should be the answer answer is a question number 54 three of the following four parts are exactly equal which of the parts is not equal to the other three number of that is the answer now see put value here x is equal to 1 so this would be then 3 plus 2 5 5 into 1 5 minus 4 that is 1 5 into 1 that is 5 now in this equation see 5 and 2 plus 1 3 5 into 3 15 plus 2 2 and 1 and 12 so 15 15 plus 2 17 minus 12 5 this is a 5, this is the value 5 and then this is equal to 2, 1 minus 2 that is you can say 4 minus and then it should be equal to 5 plus 3, 8. So 8 into minus 2 that is minus 16. So this is not equal. Otherwise it is 7 into 2, 14 plus 3 minus 6 and 3. 14 minus 9 that is 5 so except C other are equal answer should be C next question question number 55 a motorcycle gives an average of 45 km per hour if the cost of the petrol is rupees 20 per liter how much amount would be required to complete the journey of 540 km 540 km means 540 km so divided by 45 divided by 45 that should be equal to twelve twelve liter so twelve liter and one liter is twenty rupees one liter is twenty rupees so twelve into twenty two forty rupees should be the price and uh, total cost answer is a next question question number fifty six if five root five seven root 5 and 7 divided by root 5 root 5 and 5 then it should be equal to root 5 into 2 that is equal to 5 1 by 2 into 2 that should be 5 the value of p p is equal to uh, 5 is equal to 5 this is this has become equal to 5 so 5 into 5p that should be equal to 1 p is equal to 1 Question number 57. A train passes to 
bridges of length 800 meter and 400 meter in 100 second two bridges of length 800 and 400 meter in 100 second and 60 second respectively length of the train would be how much so let's say length of train is x and x plus 800 meter that is total length of train plus length of bridge and divided by speed speed is equal speed is equal divided by 100 time uh, total distance divided by time would be equal to speed and speed in both the case would be equal so x plus 6 uh, 400 this is 400 second this is 400 divided by 60 this is also speed total distance divided by time that is speed speed in both cases is equal so 3x plus 2400 5x plus 2000 2x is equal to 600 so x is equal to x is equal to 300 this is 400 in fact 2400 and 2400 so x should be equal to 200 answer is c next question question number 58 If x is equal to root 2 plus 1, 1 by 3, then value of x3 minus 1 by x3 would be how much? So x3 would be equal to root 2 plus 1, and 1 by x3 is equal to root 2 minus 1 because the sign changes when we rationalize it. So it should be equal to root 2 plus 1 minus 1 by uh, minus root 2 minus 1 instead of this it will become plus 1. So you can cancel root two, root two, one plus uh, plus one and one plus one would be equal to two. Answer is C. Next question, question number fifty-nine. A boat goes six kilometer in a uh, in an hour in still water. It takes thrice as much time in covering the same distance against the current as it takes along the current. That say current is x. So still water speed plus current speed that is downstream. still water speed that is current speed it will be upstream so upstream it will take three times three thrice as much time so it will take three thrice time it means if i multiply it by 3 then the equation should be equal so 6 plus x is equal to 18 minus 3x in other words 4x is equal to 12 x is equal to 3 3 km per hour is the speed of current this is current Speed of the current would be three kilometer. Next question, question number sixty. If A, B, C are real, and A square plus B square plus C square is equal to A minus B minus C is equal to minus three, then the value of two A minus three B plus four C. This is very famous question. You can say this famous variety, and generally you you will find one variety in the exam hundred percent. So A B C real, C A square minus 2 A. You can write this expression in this format. Plus 1, we have converted to this side. Now B square, and this is minus 2 B. It will become 2 B C 2 B, and plus 1 plus C square, and then it will be this side. Then it will be min uh, plus 2 C plus 1 is equal to 0. A minus A plus A minus one square, B plus one square, and C plus one square should be equal to zero because this expression is equal to this. So A minus one is equal to zero, then A is equal to one. B plus one is equal to zero, then B is equal to minus one. C plus one is equal to zero, then C is equal to minus one. Now C two A, it means two minus three B minus minus it would be plus three. And 4c, that is 4c, 4 into minus 1. So 3 plus 2, 5 minus 4, that that is 1. Answer should be 1. C should be the answer. Next question, question number 61. If a is equal to 34, b And C are equal, that is 33. Then the value of A3 plus B3 plus C3 minus 3ABC would be how much? 
This is very important. A3 plus B3 plus C3 minus 3ABG is equal to 1 by 2 A plus B plus C and A minus B square plus B minus C square and plus C minus A square that this is the this expression is equal to this. Now 1 by 2 ABC should be equal to 33 plus 36 plus 34 that is 100 into a minus b that is 1 square b minus c that is 0 c minus a c minus a minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 1 so 1 into 1 2 100 into 2 by 2 answer is 100 d should be the option next question question number 62 the value of 6 sine square sine 6 0 plus cos 0 minus 9 9 sine 4 plus cos 4 plus 4 is equal to how much? You can put here value sine let us say theta is equal to 90 degree then cos cos would be equal to 0 cos 0 is 0 cos 0 is no, cos 90 sorry cos 90 theta is equal to 90 then cos 90 would be equal to 0. So 6 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 plus 4 this should be equal to 6 minus 9 plus 4 6 plus 4 10 minus 9 that is 1 c should be the answer question number 63 and what is the question a tower is situated on horizontal plane from two points the line joining these points passes through the base and which are a and b distance from the base this is tower line a and b a and b a and b distance from that you can say this is if a then this should be equal to b this is b from here to here the angle of elevation of the top r this is alpha and 90 minus alpha 90 minus alpha this is 90 minus alpha is that angle which two points joining the links make at the top these are the two links make at the top and the height of the theta is the theta is the angle see so theta is this angle theta is that angle which two points these are two points will make make that at the top these two points make at the top this is theta so height of the tower we have to find the value of this value of h you can say h by a is equal to tangent tangent alpha this is tangent uh, alpha and h by b is equal to tangent 90 minus alpha 90 minus alpha is equal to cot alpha 90 minus theta is equal to cos minus theta uh, cot theta this is the so tangent theta in a, and cot theta means uh, multiply then it will be equal to 1 in other words h a into h b is equal to 1 h square is equal to a b and h would be equal to a b root so answer is h is equal to a b root answer is c next question question number 64 graph of 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 3y minus 9 is equal to 0 intersect at the point intersect at the point so 2x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 by 2 this is x and y is equal to 3y is equal to 9 y is equal to 3 so they will intersect at minus 1 by 2 and 3 minus 1 through minus 1 by 2 and 3 b should be the answer Next question, question number 65. A pole 15 meter long rests against a vertical wall at an angle of 60 degree with the ground. How high up the wall with the pole reach? This is the a pole 50 meter long. 15 meter long rest at against a vertical. Sorry, this is 15 meter. 15 meter long. And this is vertical wall. This is vertical wall. And angle of 60 degree. Vertical, let's say h. 
how high is the wall with the pole reach means we have to find the value of this so h by 15 is equal to sin 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 so h would be equal to 15 by 2 root 3 15 by root 3 7.5 into 1.732 1.732 in other words you can say in other words you can say let's multiply 7.5 into 17 into 17 that that would be equal to twelve point seven five. so it should be more than 12.75 because this is also there 12.9 should be the answer question number 66 the expression x4 plus 2x4 plus k will be the perfect square. This is in fact 2, not 4, this is 2. K will perfect square when the value of k would be, value of k would be how much? So x4, if we put here value k is equal to 1, then k square plus 1 would be equal to x4 plus 1 and plus 2x square 2x square so it, this is equal to this is justified when we have k is equal to 1 answer is b put the value from the option in the 66th question if abc is a similar to deb such that a a b c a b c similar to deb D, E and B such so that A is equal to 47 47 E is equal to 63 C is equal to then C would be how much so these are similar triangle it means this is this angle is equal to this this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle if this is 47, this is 63, then this would be equal to 63 plus 47, 110, and then this would be equal to, question is what is the angle of C? This would be 180 minus 110, that is 7, uh, 110, that is 70. Answer would be 70. Next question, question number 68. ABCD is cyclic parallelogram. The angle B this is question cyclic parallelogram and par parallelogram is always rectangle in cyclic uh, in circle this should be equal to 90 degree this is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree. this is the property and you will always find this two line will uh, parallel only when you have rectangle in the rectangle or square in the circle so answer is 90 degree d next question question number 69 the angle of elevation of the top of a building from the top and bottom of a tree are x and y respectively. If the height of the tree is h meter, then the height of the building would be how much? This is height of the building, height of the tree. Angle of elevation of top of a building from the top and bottom of the tree. From the this is tree, this is tree, and this is building building this is top of the tree and this is a bottom of the tree this is bottom of the tree this is equal to this this is equal to this now let's say this is b this will be b this is b then this is also b and this is tree let's say this is h this is in fact a this is h then a minus h would be this if this is total a this is h then this would be equal to a minus h now what is the question angle of elevation of a top of a building top of a building from the top and bottom of a top and bottom of a tree are respectively x and y x and y top x and y bottom if the height of the tree is h meter, height of the tree h meter, then the height of the building would be height of the building means we have to find the value of a. See from this a minus you can take it 
this a minus b and a divided by b a divided by b is equal to tangent y tangent y now b should be equal to then b is equal to should go this side then it will be a tangent y a, a divided by tangent y that is a cot y a divided by tangent y is equal to a cot y because uh, most of the things are given in cot we have to go in cot now here a minus h divided by b is equal to tangent is equal to tangent x then b is equal to b is equal to a minus h a minus h b is equal to a minus h divided by tangent x that is equal to cot x divided by cot tangent x it will be multiplied by this is equal to multiplied by cot x and then this is b so this expression we have written in this format now b and b are equal so a cot y a cot y is equal to a cot x and minus h cot x h cot x and a you have to find the value of a so a you can write here h cot x h cot x is equal to a cot x or you take uh, common cot x minus cot y this expression you can write in this format a would be equal to h cot x divided by cot x minus cot y so this is the value of a this is the height of the tower which is a uh, height of the building which is a and that should be equal to h cot x minus h cot x and cot y c should be the answer c should be the answer and always remember this when you find such kind of question always remember this a is equal to h cot x divided by cot x and cot y you have to remember this this is property also this property also it will help you that you will not need to try anything so better would be when you find the answer immediately use this next question question number 17 sr is a direct common tangent to the circle of radius 8 cm and 3 cm and 13 is the distance between these two 8 3 13 is the distance between these two and we have to find the length of the common chord we have to find the length of the common chord this is very common question generally one question come on this format so it should be equal to length length is equal to d square minus r1 r2 n square so d square is equal to 13 square minus 8 means 8 minus 3 that is 5 square should be equal to 169 minus 25 that is 144 root which is equal to 12 12 should be the answer one question you will find in in the exam real exam on this pattern next question question number 71 from two points on the ground lying on a straight line throw the foot of a pillar two angle of elevation of the top of the pillar are complementary to each other if the distance of the two points from the foot of the pillars are 9 meter and 16 meter and two points lie on the same side of the pillar then the height of the pillar would be this is a pillar from two point on the ground lying on a straight line through the foot of a pillar this is one and second is another 9 centimeter and another is 16 centimeter these are the two points and angular complementary means if this is x then this would be 90 minus x and we have to find the value of h so h by 9 is equal to tangent x tangent x and h by 16 is equal to tangent 90 minus x that is equal to cot x tangent x into cot x is equal to 1 so h by 9 into h by 16 is equal to h square 144 h, h square is equal to 144 h would be equal to 12 h is equal to 12 answer is d 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 72 डायगोनल ऑफ स्क्वायर इज 12 सेंटीमीटर फाइंड इट्स एरिया दिस इज डायगोनल ऑफ द स्क्वायर एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया 1/2 d स्क्वायर इज द एरिया 1/2 डायगोनल इज 12 12 दैट इज 72 शुड बी द आंसर आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 73 इन द गिवन फिगर दिस इज द फिगर p इज पैरेलल टू q P is parallel to this P and this is Q. This P and this Q, S and P and Q, R and S are parallel. R and S are parallel. And one angle is this is 80 degree. Then we have to find the value of this. So if this is 80, then this should be equal to 100. Because interior sum of interior angle is 180 degree. If this is 100, then this would be 100. Why? Because vertically opposite angle are equal. So if this is 100, then this is 100. So These are parallel, so it, uh, you can say these are corresponding angle. If this is 100, then this should be 100. This will be vertically opposite angle. Answer is B. Next question, question number 74. ABC is a triangle with base BC. D is a point on BC such that BD and CD is two. What is the ratio of the area of the triangle ABD to the area of triangle ABC? This is ABC, A, B. And C and base is BC. D is the point on BC. D is the point on BC such that BD is three, then CD would be two. What is the ratio of the area of the triangle ABD? ABD and area of ABC. ABC. We have to find the ratio of these two. So what is the area? One by two base into height. 1 by 2 ratio is equal to uh, ratio 1 by 2 base 1 and height 1. Height in both the cases same. This this height is both the cases same. So 1 by 2 into base you can cancel 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 and height also cancel. So base ratio is 3. This is ABD. This is ABD and total ratio is uh, this uh, ABC. Base is five, so three ratio five would be the ratio of the area. Also, question number seventy-five. In a triangle, in the given figure, P this is P, and Q is forty-six. Q is forty-six. This is forty-six, and this is P. So fifty plus two uh, twenty seventy. This should be equal to one hundred and ten. This would be fifty seventy. These two, and then this is one hundred ten. This would be seventy. This is seventy. Then this would be equal to forty. This forty. So it would be equal to you can say one hundred ten, and this would be equal to then seventy. This is seventy. You can say this and uh, this angle and this angle equal. Now the value of x would be value of a x. This is s, and value of x we have to find the value of this. If this is 17, then this would be equal to 110. Answer is B. So in this way, we have covered question from 51 to 75. In the next presentation, we will cover question from 76 to 100. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. Pause.